Sir Dudley Digg and famous Gizmo, who split the opening to legs of the Canadian Triple Crown, will battle for bragging rights in the $500,000 Breeders' Stakes on Sunday at Woodbine Racetrack. Sir Dudley Diggs won the $1 million Queen's Plate on July 3, overtaking Amos Gizmo in deep stretch. But Amos Gizmo earned redemption in the $500,000 Prince of Wales Stakes, capturing the 5 one half length win at Fort Erie Racetrack on July 26, as Sir Dudley Diggs finished off the board. Robbie Alvarado will ride Sir Dudley Diggs, replacing the injured Julian Leperu. Wando was the last Canadian Triple Crown winner achieving the feat in 2003. The odd for the final leg of the Canadian Triple Crown, the one one-half mile turf event, will be made available Friday. The field, with post, horse, jockey and trainer includes, one rocket plan, Simon Husbands, John LeBlanc Jr., to leave them in Malibu, Garrett Bolander, Mark Gass, Three Camp Creek, Raphael Hernandez, Rachel Halton, for Sir Dudley Diggs, Robbie Alvarado, Mike Maker, 5 Conquest Davio, Patrick Husband, Mark Gass, 6 Scholar Athlete, Heather Prado, Graham Motion, 7 Amos Gizmo, Louis Contreras, Joby Carroll, 8 Got to Get Away, Erico Rosa D. A. Silva, Malcolm Sears, 9 Narrow Escape, David Doran, Justin Nixon, 10 Me Idens Edge, Gallant Garcia, Stuart Simon, and 11 Blast Class to Go, Jesse Campbell, Malcolm Sears. Famous Gizmo will make his turf debut Sunday. Contreras, the two-time Breeders' winner, believes his Colts can handle the distance. He needs to relax a little more, he said. A mile and a half is a big question mark but I know he can do it and I have a lot of confidence in him. Every race he runs, he shows me something different. He's very talented. He's not the type of horse that only is one style. You can do anything you want with him and he responds. Cass Recently inducted into the Canadian Horse Racing Hall of Fame, has two horses in the race, Conquest Davio and Lee Vem in Malibu. Conquest Davio is a newcomer to the Canadian Triple Crown but comes in on the winning now. He earned a 1 3 fourths length win in the 1 8 mile Toronto Cup. I think Davio is probably the horse to beat, Cass said. Obviously there are horses coming in there with good form, but maybe not on grass. The distance won't be an issue for him at all. He's ready to roll and all systems are go. Lee Vemp in Malibu was sixth in the plate but second in the Prince of Wales and makes just his sixth career start. Cass believes Lee Vemp in Malibu's effort in the Prince of Wales was deceptively good. His action is not as high as it looks but when he starts getting hit with kickback it gets worse, he said. It rained at Fort Erie and the kickback was even worse that day. Garrett Bolander said the horse kept shaking his head while he was running. He was just bombarded with dirt. For him to run second after all that, I thought it was a good effort. Sunday's card includes the grade to $200,000 Sky Classic Stakes, the 1 1 fourth mile turf race for three-year-olds and upwards. The field will include 2013 Breeders' Stakes champion up with the birds.